All I can say about Marine as a character is that she's clearly going to break the internet. I see no way that she doesn't run up the charts of best girl from this season all the way to the home stretch of this year. There's something great already about the main two's pairing in this show because this immediately, before even watching it, the main reason I wanted to check it out, it wasn't because of the hype, it was because a little while back, I'm not sure if it was a year or two, I keep forgetting to check the air date, but there was a show called Smile Down the Runway. It was all about a character who enjoyed making clothes and another who enjoyed runway modeling, and they worked together to basically form these connections and, you know, pursue their passions. And that show didn't get a lot of hype, and I loved it myself. And when I saw this one about someone who enjoys making these Hina dolls, can make clothing, someone who wants to be a cosplayer, it immediately said like, oh man, this is another style of show that I'd really love, but I saw all this hype around it, and I was like, holy shit, is this actually going to be a show I can talk about and have more than a couple hundred people listen to? And to see this episode take place, and how it doesn't really follow any of the traditional tropes you see, when it comes to like, kind of like the loner boy character who has a passion, doesn't really feel like he fits in, and you have this very popular preppy girl who probably is going to look down on him and things like that. Rather, you immediately are going to like both of their personalities more than likely. When it comes to Gojo, he's someone who, yes, is a loner, doesn't really have any friends, and has a passion, but ultimately, you know, people look down on him. He's a boy who would rather basically make dolls, something that's unconventional for his gender. Like, that's basically how it was in people, so in return, he gets walked over. He'll do all the cleaning after class. But it's not like he, his character design is, like, overly ugly or his personality is overly antisocial. It's just he feels like the normal high school guy who's just going through the motions, trying to survive, not step on other people's toes, and in return just, you know, goes home, plays with his dolls ultimately, but it's really no different than going home and just playing video games all night and then doing the school cycle all over again. When it came to Maureen, who immediately, her character design's incredible, it's so different and unique from what you typically see, but her personality is what sells her on being what is called a best girl in the community. She doesn't look down on people just because they would want to play with dolls or things like that. She looks down on those like overly self-absorbent and just very shallow people. The type of hot boys who would wait for her after she's done with her hair to then insult her anime keychain or figure or merchandise, knowing that if she's literally hanging it off her purse, she clearly likes it, and then calls her names in return, so she'll just be the ice cold queen. But she's not the ice cold queen just because she's some hot high school student who can basically get any guy she wants. It's simply put, like, she likes anime. She likes games. The opening very much says that. I actually thought the opening was probably one of the most stylistically impressive that I've seen in some time because rather than it just going through the typical motions, you see, okay, here's a character and here's a generic backdrop. You see her room, you see Gojo's room, you see them go through a mall with like all these weeb figures and merchandise and it was incredible to get so much personality from both of them based on what they do. He's a lot more simple, painting of the dolls and things like that, where she has all these figures and basically cosplay anime dreams in the making there. And I love seeing that. Her personality, I think, whether you're hardcore into anime or not, you're gonna like the character because she just feels genuine with her passion. And I mean, it's been very clear over the recent years that from games to anime, females are actually taking up larger portions than males at times. And... It was great to really get a taste of who she is as a person, despite having basically a large group of friends, probably the entire school loves her. She very much like wears her passion on her sleeve, that she loves anime, she loves these nerdy pastimes. And I definitely think over recent times and recent years, and even this latest generation, loving anime and games and things like that, I mean, it's not really something that's looked down upon as much, but obviously different cultures, different things. But I think it's just such a great balance to have that type of relationship and how they ultimately got brought together, because she has been working on a cosplay of a character she loves so much, and the fact that Gojo's sewing machine breaks, he ends up using the one at school thinking no one would be there, and to see the situation go from her undressing to putting on her cosplay outfit, him visibly confused about what's about to happen because this very attractive girl is undressing in front of him even though she asked him to turn around to then him just completely critiquing her outfit. There's this moment where he's basically staring at her chest and moments prior 
he was flustered. He was embarrassed. Like, oh my God, I can't believe like what, I don't even think I can do what she's about to want me to do. And because he's so ashamed of her stitching ways, the way that she put together this outfit, that despite staring at her chest, he's not looking at that sexually. He's critiquing the art of the clothing. And I thought that was such a brilliant kind of switcheroo of what they just pulled. Him so concerned about what's going on to then seeing that, oh, this is all about fashion. I don't give a shit about the female body anymore. I'm just visibly like, what the hell are you doing with this outfit, woman? I'm going to correct this for you. To just see how they get brought together and how it's, there's no judgment there. Ultimately, that's what it is. And that's what a relationship, whether it's friendship, whether it's family, whether it's romance should be, is a lack of judgment. Once judgment's on the table, it's destined to crash and burn or have a level of toxicity in it. The fact that they're just genuinely liking what they like. I mean, Gojo doesn't understand anime names, but he doesn't have to. He understands that she loves the clothing. And she doesn't have to understand the passion of like wanting to spend hours upon hours with your free time making clothing when she'd probably want to watch anime instead. But the fact of the matter is, there isn't an actual level of judgment which makes both of their characters you know, you want to root for them. Her character design, like I mentioned, I think is absolutely fantastic. There's this level of, like, carefreeness despite being put together. Like, she does her hair, she does her makeup, she has jewelry. But you can see from the loose tie to just almost like she kind of, like, she cares about her appearance, but m you kind of get the impression that she would rather stay up late at night, lose sleep, and have to rush in the morning because she wanted to watch her favorite anime. So her tie isn't necessarily like, you know, all the way done up because she just didn't have time in the morning as she ran out the door because she slept in after watching too much anime at night. The thing that really sold me on her character design was actually her earrings. Now I'm a little biased because my fiance almost has identical earrings with everything that was going on with her design. But I love that style and I love how it just kind of like sells her look overall. It's just so beautiful to look at. The background art, whether it's the scenery in the background with just the generic city location. The perspectives of characters putting on their shoes, just everything about this show is gorgeous. The music, from what we've heard, exceptional. The character writing is very relatable and just very well done and not shallow or superficial. This show's incredible and is easily going to fight to be my anime of the season, hands down. These are the types of shows I always look for in every anime season. Something that breaks away from the mold, doing the same thing we've seen time and time again, but also just keeping it real without needing to go explosive to sell you on why you should watch this one every single episode. So yes, I will be covering this one every single week. This is the show that Cloverworks is putting all their resources in. So despite the other two series that they're working on alongside this one, those are going to crash and burn because there just is not enough animators to go around. This one, however, it's crystal clear based on pre-production details and everything that the source material has laid out before it. This show is going to be refined, and I'm very excited to see it through to the very end. But let me know your thoughts and feelings, whether you're fresh into this experience like myself, or you're a fan of the source material. What did you think of episode one, and how excited are you for episode two? Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new around here. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.